Welcome to Smart Remarks, where all Muslims are the enemy, and we only want to help them. So in a surprising but welcome development this week, none other than Ron Paul himself penned a scathing denunciation of the Ground Zero mosque protesters for Antiwar.com, ripping them for implying that Islam itself was responsible for the 9-11 attacks. Now, I've had some kind words for Dr. Paul in this program before, which might seem odd. I mean, his politics and mine might seem to be diametrically opposed, but it just goes to show you. Sometimes left and right come around the back. Uh, and me. Paul writes about how those who would keep us mired forever in our wars in the Mideast love the idea that Islam is responsible for 9-11 for, quote, if it became known that 9-11 resulted in part from a desire to retaliate against what many Muslims saw as American aggression and occupation, the need to demonize Islam would be difficult, if not impossible. But I thought, whoa, ho, ho, hold it there, Mr. Paul. That sounds a lot like you hate freedom. I mean, after all, you can't acknowledge that there might be real reasons that Muslims in the Mideast hate America. I, you know, they hate us for our freedom. I thought we all understood that, you know? The sanctions against Iraq, which caused a spike in child mortality rates, I mean, never heard of it. You know, civilian deaths during the Iraq occupation, uh, predator drone strikes. You know, why do you bring all this up? Don't you understand? We're the good guys. Outrage! But all of this raises an interesting point. If you've been following the mosque debate, you'll know that the talking points basically boil down to three things. So number one, all Muslims are alike. Number two, all Muslims are at best potential terrorists. And so number three, all Muslims bear collective responsibility for the attacks on 9-11. Check the protest signs. Islam equals terror. All I needed to know about Islam I learned on 9-11. In this hatred-crazed narrative, we're not at war with Muslim extremists. We're at war with all Muslims, Islam itself. But wait a minute. I thought the reason we were in Iraq and Afghanistan and maybe ultimately Iran is that we were trying to help the poor oppressed Muslims. But why would we be trying to help them if Islam equals terror? I mean, why would we have spent so much American blood and treasure to bestow wonderful democracy on the virtuous purple-fingered people of, of Iraq if they're in fact the enemy just like the people who want to build the Ground Zero Mosque. To be a conservative in America is to be able to hold two contradictory ideas in your head at the same time. On one hand, Muslims are a danger. On the other, we want to help the Muslims because we want to encourage moderate Islam. But there is no such thing as moderate Islam! Does any of this make any sense? No, but see, it doesn't have to, because as Paul wrote in his Antiwar.com editorial, this is all about hate and Islamophobia. And it is. Good to see a conservative, or at least one of them, recognized it as such. No, no, you should draw lines, but I think the lines are being drawn improperly. Al-Qaeda was responsible. Several hundred Al-Qaeda existed at that time, and maybe there's still several hundred more. But that doesn't mean the whole Muslim religion should be indicted. That is my complaint. I mean, uh, McVeigh probably was a Christian, and he bombed the uh, Oklahoma uh, federal building. But does that mean that a Christian uh, church can't be built near there and Christianity is blamed? No, I don't like that broad brush. So, yes, uh, the violence...